guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Angela, and on this channel, we do a bunch of t-shirts, embroidery, heat transfer vinyl, direct-to-garment printing, just pretty much everything <laughs> to decorate apparel. And if you're new here, please consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to the channel. Um, at the end of every video, I do do post notification shout-outs. I do do. <laughs> I do post notification shout outs so when you go ahead and hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification and leave a comment down below with a question you have and I may possibly answer it in the next video. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a bunch of printing on my Epson F2100 that is this machine. It is a direct to garment printer and you can purchase it from Todd Eggersman. I do get a commission if you do buy it from Todd. I have a bunch of shirts from AngelaJasmina.com that is my merch shirts my adult line of clothing that I sell. I have a bunch that I have to make. I've been so busy with everything else, so my turnaround time on AngelaJasmina.com is about 10 business days um, because I have a lot of other things going on. So uh, I try to do them all in one day, so today is that day. So I already had my husband pre-treat all the shirts, so I saw there's shirts all around. And who knew fabric would come in handy for this because since it's on fabric bolts, it doesn't get like all the wrinkles. It just, it just works out. So we have pre-treated shirts all back here and some all the way over there, but... I'm gonna start with them, with them, try to get them done. We're like tag teaming. So I pulled some AJ Blank's order this morning and uh, he was watching the kids while I did that and then we switched off and he pre-treated these shirts while I watched the kids. So I'm gonna do all of these. Um, I do have a bunch, like I can show you real quick. I have a fat stack of kids custom design Etsy orders for printed shirts. So those shirts are the shirts from Monogram Moments. All her designs, um, I put up, I'd say it's been about two weeks. Um, I put up on my Etsy shop about two weeks ago and I've sold so many. So I'm so glad she reached out to me and offered uh, to collab with her stuff. So her stuff is popping and my Etsy shop is now getting more sales um, because I offer more items. Those shirts only take about like a minute to a minute and a half each to print. So I'm doing the adult shirts which take maybe like two minutes. They're a little bit longer. So I want to get those done and then I can focus on the kids stuff. I've mentioned many times in like the last two weeks since I've added those. That's a whole business on its own printing just children's shirts because the ink cost. The shirts are white so the ink cost is so low and the designs are smaller because they're kids shirts. So literally I'd say let's say you buy a shirt for five dollars. The AJ Blanks five dollars and you have the ink five ten so it's like five dollars and ten cents and you can sell them for I think I have them on there eighteen dollars free shipping something like that so that's money right there I'm gonna go ahead and start printing these shirts Whew, I'm hot now I'm wearing a hoodie cuz I ran out of shirts so I have all the packing slips listed out so I'm just gonna just start picking shirts and just printing them there's already one right here that obviously is not threaded on the platen it's just I think he ran out of spaces to put shirts so I need to like get a rack and then hang them all after they get pre-treated to make it easier, but like, there's no space here, as you can see, we have no space. So that's the next problem. So let's just get rocking and rolling on orders. If you have any questions, leave them down below. We've had this Epson for about six months now. We love it, we're using it more and more. Obviously we have a lot more parts to our business, so we don't use it as much as it probably should get used, but now that we've thrown it on Etsy, my goodness, those sales are just, Picking up, picking up, picking up. So, hey, now Keenan, which is my husband, he loves this DTG. He'll have a lot more to do on it. And especially since they're the white AJ Blank shirts, it just makes it more profitable for us. So yeah, let's just start working on these. Okay, so the ink is actually low, the white ink. So I need to go ahead and switch the white ink out right now, which kind of works for this video. I can show you guys how to switch your white inks out. It's June 9th. June 9th, wow. January 9th, it's January 9th. See how much ink we use. So I have it documented, we switch it out on January 9th. White ink is the most expensive ink out there for the Epson. Um Okay, so I just installed the white ink. Every time we installed new white ink, we order it the same exact day. I ordered some um, when I just changed the color ink on, I think like Monday or Tuesday. So I do have some probably out for delivery today, if not tomorrow. So always make sure I have extra white ink in stock. I don't like not having it. I didn't order um, color ink because those little cartridges lasted so, so long um, that we just put the big cartridges in. So I think those are gonna last for like six months, seven months. I don't know, we'll find out. 
hey, we'll do an experiment. I'm probably gonna order some in a month or so just to see, or maybe when it says like it's halfway done, because I always like to have all my supplies in stock in case of anything, let's say they run out. I don't know, I'm dramatic like that, but I always like to have at least an extra set of everything in stock. First shirt done. Shirt number three is out. Okay, shirt. Sure. Four or five, maybe four. And then just finished this one. I'm trying to multitask here. This is like six or seven. Okay, so we got quite a few done. I don't know. I think I don't know how long it's been. Maybe an hour. One, two, three, four. Another Etsy order. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, we got 15 shirts done. So that's definitely not bad. I have to start on all the kids shirts. There's so, 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 so many. So I'm gonna try to organize them by like design so that I can just keep pushing print on the DTG. But like I said, there's about 30 of them. So this should be fun. Now I'm just organizing all the shirts by style to try to figure out what needs to be made. Okay, now that I got all the shirts organized by style, I have this little digger shirt that 
I sold quite a few of so that's the one I have the most of so I'm gonna start with that one that one is not personalized so that's literally a drop and print drop and print drop and print so I'm gonna start those I'm gonna get the shirts pre-treated and then get it moving okay so all the shirts I need for these are pulled I do use AJ blanks for white shirts for my DTG, they work perfectly Ew. when I pre-treat them. And that's Miss Riley over there with something on her head. She's sending her dad emojis. So I'm going to go ahead and get these pre-treated and set up. Okay, so this is Garmin Creator and here is the design. I'm just going to drop it on here. I have to change the layout to the small platen. And I'll make this a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to put it right there. And I'm going to do level three and then print. Okay, so I need to, I usually heat my shirts first and then pre-treat them and then uh, dry the pre-treat. And then I need to switch out the platen because that's still the adult platen. I need the small platen for like three T and up. So most of them are going to go on the small, but I do have the extra small platen as well. So here is the first shirt, it's done. Okay, so we got all the digger shirts done and now I'm gonna start the trains because those also don't have any customization on them They're just the train. We'll start those now. So I'm just going to Delete this one out and then find the train And drop it in and make it pretty big uh, Maybe a little bit a little smaller and then start printing Retreat. That came out so cute, oh my goodness. Okay guys, it's like four o'clock now and I am starving so I need to go eat. So I'm taking a break. Hopefully I'll be back sometime today. If not, it'll probably be tomorrow. So yeah, let me go eat now. Good morning guys, it's now Monday. The last clip was I think Saturday, so I never came back downstairs. Um, we're at now 117 Etsy orders. <laughs> so uh, my sister and Keenan and my father-in-law are out there working on AJ Blanks. I'm trying to do Etsy. So I have some Cricut shirts I'm trying to cut real quick. I still have not unboxed my Cricut maker and I need to make these. So I was like, let me just use what I have already, obviously. So that has to get done. I'm trying to get all these shirts out. This is just, you know, a little stressful but you know it's worth it trying to buy a house part of it so yeah let me go ahead and keep cutting stuff keep moving it's already 10 o'clock it's pretty late to start working but yeah and it is a massive mess down here i need to clean a few things on my to-do list i do need to order more black DTG shirts, so that would be from SNS Activewear or Alpha Broder. I need to order more sweatshirts from SNS Activewear, Alpha Broder. I need to get more heat transfer vinyl. I gotta order a lot of things, so those are all on my list of things to do today. So I should write it down so that I remember.
update. We're working, we're working. We have all the machines going. All the machines are running. Not, not that one though, <laughs> but the rest are running. I'm trying to get as much as I can done. The orders are flying in left and right. Um, we're still averaging about 18 orders a day, but like the orders are always like for more than one shirt, two, three, four shirts at a time. So I'm over here grinding as hard as I can to get all these orders out. So thank you guys so much for your orders. They're out there packaging the custom design and AJ Blank's orders. Trying to get everything done um, and trying to keep up with it because when you get behind, it sucks. So I'm trying to keep up and, and keep going and getting things running, running, running. So I need to get back to it because every second I spend talking is all the sure all the machines are stopped. Look, stop, stop, stop. And these two are still running. So let me get back to work, guys. Another update, it is now 12.30 and we have one, two, three, four shirts going. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we're at 13 shirts in the last two, it's been about two hours. So I'm just gonna try to keep going. I do need to go print some DTG shirts for kids, the Valentine shirts, because those are selling like Hot cake. So I need to go print some of those out so they can ship today. It came out so cute. So cute. Oh, this came out so cute. Okay, so we have a lot of the orders packaged and I'm gonna go ahead and package them and then take them to the post office. But there's like 30 or 40 orders here. They're just super stacked together. So far, we got all these orders packaged and I need to put the Etsy tape on them now. Still more that need to be packaged, but that's a good start.
here are the orders that are done. These are the ones that are going post office. So quite a few, quite a few. And we do have some back over there too that are going UPS. But today's post notification shout out goes to Shelly FB3. And she says, hello, I started watching your videos slash tutorials and I learned something new all the time. Thank you. But what is the sheet behind the fabric that helps to bond using the heat press? Thanks again. So I use heat and bond light on the back of my fabrics. I don't use it on the embroidery vinyl or heat transfer vinyl, only on my fabrics. And what it does is it helps with fraying. It helps your design look a lot crisper and it helps it last longer. Um, especially when you're doing vintage stitch because it adheres to the shirt as well. So yes, I use heat and bond light. Heat and bond ultra do not use because it will gunk up your needles. So yeah. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.